I'm Barry with InsulationMachines.net, and this is... Add a queen on the scene, baby. I'm Joss Gazzarello. What we want to talk about is how to leave your job site. You've worked all day, and it's been a hard day, and the last thing you're thinking about is cleaning up that job. What are, you, what are your thoughts, Jessica? This is something that uh, if they get wrong, they can lose a lot of work. Absolutely. You know, it's always something, you know, I have the mentality, leave it better than when you found it. And it's actually funny because yesterday when we finished this big nightmare of a job and <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like we were working for ever. Um, I'm sweeping the paver driveway and I'm picking things up. And uh, my one worker goes to me, he said, that's not our mess. And I said, I don't care. I'm going to leave it better than I found it. You know, I want it to look nice. And, you know, it's just, I get satisfaction out of seeing clean cleanliness, you know, just like why well, I love vacuuming attics so much. There's nothing like that feeling when you've got that hose and you're sucking all that insulation and you see the drywall. So definitely keeping it better than when you found it. But also, um, again, it's a horrible job and it's hard as it is just performing the job. So uh, my tip is to clean as you go. Yeah. You know, especially, you know, people have different duties. You've got one ground person, you've got an attic person. Um, so basically, you know, whether I'm running the trailer or I got a trailer guy running it, we are on the same page that we're going to do a little bit. You know, you're filling the hopper. Okay, let me make sure that we're putting the plastic bags in a garbage bag. Let me, let me sweep. Let me kind of keep things in a pile. So it's, you know, being cognizant of your surroundings at all times and making sure you don't let things get out of control because that's how you are going to leave sloppy job sites. When you're tired and you don't want to do anything, you're like, ah, or they won't see it. It's like, it's not that bad at that point if you're maintaining as you go. Right. The importance of this cannot be understated because builders uh, demand that uh, their jobs are clean. And if you leave a job site that it's not clean, you might lose a builder over it. I've heard of that happening. The homeowners will talk on Facebook. Uh, man, they did a sloppy job. They're not looking in the attic to see what you actually did. They're going to just see what you left. And sometimes that's their first impression, and that's the wrong impression you want to leave. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.